Hello everybody, welcome back to Order of Battle, a Winter War on Paradox Gamer. Thank you for joining me for the second scenario called Tulva Jaravi. December 1939. Finnish troops have endured the first clashes at the Soviet border. Now the army is preparing to launch a counterattack in an attempt to gain the initiative. So, counterattack sounds interesting. So we don't have to defend in all scenarios. Now remember we got this uh, commander last time. Let's uh, let's check out the briefing. The initial Soviet advance in the Ladoka Karelian front has been temporarily halted. After regrouping at Tolvedjevi, I don't know if that's correctly uh, pronounced, we now have the opportunity to launch a counterattack against the invaders. The plan is to strike simultaneously across the lakes of Hirvashervi and Tolvayarvi. This pincer attack should lead to the complete destruction of the Soviet 139th Rifle Division. Once the enemy's vanguard between the two lakes has been destroyed, a follow-up attack will push on to the east and destroy the remnants of the Soviet division. While most of our reserves will be assigned to the offensive, we must also assure the protection of our northern and southern flanks from potential Soviet attacks. Okay. So what we have over here is uh, what we uh, used in the first scenario. And uh, some of them are only 38. Finnish infantry 38, three of those, and then we have some 39s. So I'm going to upgrade those guys for sure. Let's check the primary objective. Clear area around Eristisalmi. That's the uh, town over here. To complete the operation, Eristisalmi must be captured and all Soviet units within three hexes of the town must be destroyed. That's a pretty, pretty big area. As for the secondaries, we have to capture the Soviet headquarters in five turns. That's over here. Intelligence obtained from Soviet documents will, will reveal the enemy positions around Ristisalmi. We gotta get this in five turns, that seems definitely plausible. It's very close to my stuff. And then we have to capture secondary VPs. Soviet equipment may be captured in one of their abandoned supply bases. So that's the one that we looked at before. Also, the supply dump down here and Kankasvara up here. The way it's worded, it looks like it will be um, randomly assigned. Or do we have to take all three? I'm not sure about that. So, we got 25 command points to spend. And over here we have 3, 6, 9, 12... 16 we got 19 already so we got another six points after this let's see what's already deployed up here we have Finnish infantry 39 you have a 76 millimeter artillery with horse uh, it's horse drawn then we got Finnish engineers 39 we have a bunker another bunker down here and Finnish infantry 39 that's all we have. Uh, we have. Hmm, let's see. Let's upgrade this guy. So that'll cost only 16. Let's do that. Same goes for this one. That'll cost 16. And then this one will cost a little bit more 21. So now all the units are 39. 39. The heavy infantry needs to be fully replenished. And I think we'll put them right here. Right across from the Soviet infantry. And this infantry here also needs to be replenished. The same goes for the engineer. So everybody is fully replenished now. We've still got 180 points to spend. Uh, da, 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 da. We need one guy up here, I guess. Let's 
put one there. And also one down here. We already have infantry, so we could put the engineers down here. And then I want the bulk of my infantry to be in the center. This one. This one. And then we have one more. Let's see, two up here. Three and one. I think we could use one more down here. Might as well go straight, straight up here. And then we got another six points. I want one more artillery. You got a 76 millimeter, and I want that to be driven by a truck. And where can we put it? Can we put it here? Yeah, then it can reach everything. That leaves us with another two command points. And the only thing I can buy with two command points is, if I recall correctly, engineers. We already have engineers. You can also buy an anti-tank gun and also an anti-air gun, but without um, without trucks. So I think I'm gonna wait. I can spend these later when we get additional points. Let's start up. This time we are beginning. We want to assign this commander to some of the un these units over here. I'm thinking about this guy. So we click the commander, assign him right there. So what we'll do is we'll target this guy with artillery. Then we'll move these guys around. Hit him with the uh, heavies. And then hit them from up here. Now where will they go? Right, just follow in there and then move these guys down here and hit them again. Fortunately they did not die from that attack. Get the engineers over here. Up here I will send these guys around. We'll start pounding these guys. And these guys will not move in the south. We got Soviet infantry over here and conscripts down here. Okay, so what do we do? Do we just cut them off or maybe go for the conscripts first? quite sure. Uh, these guys are trucked. Hmm. I think we'll swing this guy around south. Bring the engineers back and swing this guy north. Alright, Soviet turn one. How do they react to that? Okay, they got artillery up here. Hmm, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, so... Let's swing around them anyway. And let's keep hitting these guys. I could probably just go up and, del and uh, attack it. Alright, so what do we do here? I think we'll use the artillery to get rid of these guys. And then we can attack from several points. Come up here, bring up the heavies, punch a hole in the bunker. Yeah, let's go up here, hit the bunker, and then move in. Ah, damn it, I didn't get it. I thought it would destroy the bunker, and then they could follow it through so they wouldn't be next to these guys. Okay. Interesting. 
keep moving these guys around. And, and this way. Get the engineers back. And let's go for Soviet turn two. So these guys are gonna get hit hard. No, they decide to uh, use the mortars. And here comes the conscripts. Alright, general attack from those guys. That's interesting. Can I cut them off? We've got infantry in the center also attacking. Alright, so in the north. Hmm. I gotta get these guys out of the way. That means down here. They will be able to reach it anyway. So these guys cannot cut them off, but they can head back. Let's head back this way. And move back. And just hit the hit the conscripts. In the center, this is interesting. I think we'll take out the bunker with the heavies. Plans are revealed. We've cleared all Soviet forces from a hotel located between the frozen lakes of Hirvashavi and Telvajavi. Tobayavi. The documents carried by the regimental commanders have been revealed detailed information on enemy deployments. So we can now see the deployments over here. That's really nice. Back to here. Um, I cannot cut them off, but I can move up this way. We also have the artillery. with these guys and then hit them with the engineers and just make sure to get them all the way down there we go so in the south move up this way Let's see where is the Biggest supplies up here. <coughs> Sorry. So let's make sure to stand on that. Let's move around these conscripts. And that's the end of the turn. Another mortar attack. The mortar attacks have become a lot more lethal than in previous editions of the game. Aircrafts. Okay. Death from above. The Soviet Air Force is present in significant numbers, impeding maneuvers over open ground. Additional command points and resources have been released to counter this threat. Oh, look at that. A lot of points. That means we can get the anti air with with the truck and we can deploy that right here I cannot fire in this turn though and we still got one command point left we will not be able to use that over here let's move in behind them And then in the next turn, I can cut them off completely. 
Um, now we got this heavy infantry right there. Let's start hitting that with the artillery. Let's try and move around it. I'm not sure about up here, but let's uh, let's move this way. And I'm starting to use elite reinforcements now that we got start to get stars. Here we'll just replenish and come down this way. And then in the south, these guys will move up. Should we just move this way? It's a bit risky because I got nobody on the other side, so I will lose supplies at some point. And there's also a BA 10 over here. I guess that's uh, that's it. We got the engineers here. I um, could move them through, though. Let's move them forward. And Soviet turn four. <laughs> the fighter decides to evacuate that area. attacks, artillery attacks, and a counter-attack from these guys. Let's go in behind them. Ouch. Okay. That's okay, we got it under control. What we'll do is we'll move up here, cut off their supplies. hit them with the artillery. Well, we'll just wait for the next turn. When they're out of supply, we'll hit them. So just replenish these guys, actually. Now let's come behind this guy. Um, that town may still be occupied, though. <laughs> so it's a bit of a chance. But I'm gonna take it. Yeah, we got it. And plenty. So these guys are now also out of supply. Let's come around that one. Let's just close this up right away. Like that. Artillery. No, this is the... This is the Here, replenish and then come back up this way. And hopefully we can link up next turn. That's the whole idea anyway. We also have these guys can fire. No, we will not do that. Actually these guys got two. Let's hit them this turn. And then we can fire from this position. Where are they running to? Down there, okay. Um, we don't need to go in there. That was pretty good. What about up here? We already played that out. Okay. So we can hit them there. We'll not do that this turn. So let's take the Soviet turn five. Fighter again. <laughs> More attack. And the artillery is relentlessly trying to hit us. Ah, we got this. Alright, let's put a break in here, guys. Thank you for watching. I will hopefully see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.